Hey everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Today I am starting a new tutorial series about Angular on my channel. This course will be covering the basics of Angular, so if you know nothing or less about it, then this course is for you. Before we begin, let me ask you guys a question. Which one of these frameworks would you prefer to use or already using in your projects? Angular, React or Vue.js? Feel free to comment down below your replies and let us start the discussion in the comment section. I will also give higher priority on my videos in the future based on your comments. Alright, so in this tutorial series we're gonna start with Angular basics like what is Angular, what is Angular CLI and how to use Angular with using CLI. After that we're gonna have a look on Angular components and the component structure, how to create and use components with Angular. Then you will learn some important Angular directives and pipes also. Don't worry by the way if you don't know what they mean, I will explain them later in my other videos. After that you're gonna learn routing in Angular, which is also an important part. And finally I will show how to use and validate forms in Angular and also the different types of forms. This is the plan for now, maybe in the future I will make additional videos about Angular as well. Before starting to learn Angular, it is essential to be familiar with the following languages first, if you haven't yet. Firstly, you need to be familiar with the fundamentals of front-end development, like learning HTML, CSS and JavaScript, also with the ES6 features. And it's also a good advantage to be familiar with TypeScript. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, which is basically JavaScript, but has additional features like static typing and so on. If you already know good JavaScript, then you won't spend much time learning TypeScript. Angular is written in TypeScript and it is recommended to use uh, TypeScript in Angular. Of course, you don't have to be an expert in these technologies, but if you have a general knowledge, then it will be fine. Alright, so what is Angular? Angular is a JavaScript framework developed and maintained by Google for building front-end applications. Nowadays, React.js has taken the industry, it is currently the most popular JavaScript library. But this doesn't mean that Angular is not important anymore, it is still being used in large companies and projects. So I believe as a front-end developer, it is, it is a very big advantage to know Angular or React or one of them, or both of them. So that's why I think Angular is still important to learn. Now, one of the most asked questions about Angular is that, is AngularJS and Angular the same? Or what are the differences between them? Well, AngularJS and Angular are completely different frameworks. Angular versions like 1, 1.2, 1.5, etc. They are all AngularJS and starting from version 2 and above is called Angular. Now, starting from version 2, Google has decided to make a complete rewrite of AngularJS and they have just made a new framework which is a complete different framework than AngularJS and released Angular. So Angular version 2 is a complete rewrite of the framework which released in 2016 and the newer versions like 4, 5, 6 and so on they are minor changes of Angular version 2. And this course is about Angular version 2 and above not AngularJS. Now I want to install Angular on my system. There are a couple of steps we need to follow first. And the first step is installing Node.js if you don't have it. Node.js has NPM, Node Package Manager, which enables to install third-party dependencies on our project and also Angular CLI. I will put down the installation link below in the description or you can just head to the Node.js website and click on the download button to install it. After you have installed Node.js, start your terminal and you can type node-v to see the version of your node and npm-v to see the version of your npm. Alright, now we can move on with the second step which is installing Angular CLI. Now this is the official website of Angular CLI, you can find all the details on the documentation section. Angular CLI is a command line interface of Angular itself, which is a very useful tool while building Angular applications. It really helps us developers a lot. We can do lots of things automatically by using the CLI, like starting and running the project, creating new components, modules or services, 
or things like testing or deploying the project and much more things. Angular is a framework with many configurations and dependencies. As a developer, it is difficult to configure Angular files. Luckily, the CLI does it automatically for us. We basically need to follow these steps here to start our Angular project. So firstly, we need to install the Angular CLI itself with npm. I switch back to my terminal and type sudo su to become a super user. We need it on max terminal. Then I can type npm install dash g for global installation and add Angular CLI. This command installs now Angular CLI on my computer. Alright, now the Angular CLI installation has completed. Now we are able to install a complete new Angular project. To do that, I need to pick a location. I choose my desktop first. Then I need to use this second command here, ng-new. This command will create a new Angular project on my desktop and the name is up to you. Let's say my Angular app and this will start the installation of the Angular project. Now you might see some additional questions. We're gonna use Angular routing later in this course, so yes. Then it asks which style sheet format we would like to use. I will choose SCSS. And now the installation has started. Okay, so I skipped to the end of the installation and I opened the folder with Visual Studio Code and here we can see all of the files of this Angular project. Now the last step is starting the project. And to do that, we need to use the ng-serve command. You can either do it from your terminal by locating your project's folder app, my Angular app, and then type here ng-serve and start it. Or you can do it from the integrated terminal of VS Code if you have it. Now I click here and open the integrated terminal and here I write ng-serve and if everything is fine, our app should run without any problems. Let's see. All right, it says compiled successfully and if everything is fine, you should see that your app is running live on your local server under localhost and the port number stays here, 4200. So let's see. So the app has started and running under the localhost 4200 without any problems. And this page that we currently see is an example page of the project. The Angular team also updates this page. Maybe you will see another example page here and that's okay. Now the question is, where does this page coming from? So I am going back to my source folder. And here, if we locate under the index, and we can see that there is an app root selector here. This is not an HTML selector. This is an Angular component, an Angular selector component, which I will continue explaining the details of the file structures and the components in the second part of this course. I hope you find this video useful. Put down a like if you do, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. So see you guys later in the next video.